So I wanted to make sure that the TIL 311s I got in from China were in good working condition and that I understood how they were supposed to work. So I downloaded the data sheet uh, online and uh, I rigged up a quick test fixture with the TIL 311 stuck in here. And uh, it's really pretty simple. There's a uh, there's a separate LED supply voltage and logic supply voltage because this is really an array of LEDs and a logic chip in the same package. There's the logic chip right by my fingertip and then the array of LEDs are above it. Uh, so each one of them has its own power supply but in this case I'm going to power them together and uh, so both of those get tied high. That's pin 1 and pin 14 uh, pin 7 is the common ground for the package. Uh, pin 8 is a blanking input, and if you tie it to ground, the LED is not blanked. If it is not tied to ground or if it's raised high, it will uh, blank the LEDs. And there are a couple of decimal points which are not part of the logic chip. They're just wired out. The cathodes are brought out to two pins, uh, pin 4 and pin 10. Um, marked by X's here. I'm not going to be using them and uh, to operate those an external resistor needs to be used anyway because they're not current limited within the package. And then finally pin uh, 3 is logic weighted 1, pin 2 is logic weighted 2, pin 13 is logic weighted 4, pin 12 is logic weighted 8. So you get your uh, binary pattern in 4 bits from 0 up to F hexadecimal. And then finally, 5 is the uh, strobe, and when that's low, whatever's on the four data lines uh, goes straight in and is encoded to the LEDs. And if you raise pin 5 to logic high, it disregards the inputs and just latches what was on there before the strobe. Uh, I have it wired out to a push button, which moves the pin between... Uh, normally being um, high and when I push the button it goes low so it allows the data in. And then I've got four gray wires which I can move between V plus over here and ground on the left. So I'm going to turn the power supply on now. And there I get my zero. So all four gray wires are going to the uh, ground rail right now. So if I push the button, it shouldn't make any difference. If I uh, move the uh, pin 3 wire, that's this one, to V+, now when I push the uh, strobe button, it'll give me a 1. And now even if I move the wire away, it's latched in. If I move the pin 2 wire, which is logically weighted to a 2 in there and push the strobe button, I get a 2. I won't go through all the possibilities here, but I am going to um, try to move all of these up to V+. Plus. kind of a mess here, but uh, I think I can get it. I've actually already gone through this chip. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I took my time on that and went through all the possibilities. So everything's uh, logically high now, and if I push the uh, strobe button, I'll get an F. I can take away the uh, lowest bit, that's uh, pin 3, take that back to a ground and strobe it and it should go down to an E which it did. Now I've got a pretty bright light over my workbench here. I'm going to turn that off give a little better idea what these actually look like. It's a pretty nice looking display. I wish they still made these. 